War stories are a great way to train and develop uh, your sales team with real and practical uh, examples from the sales cycle or the sales process. What I like to do when, whenever we close a deal, uh, I'll take the agent into our, our training room, I'll get the dry erase board, and, and I'll say, okay, war stories, tell me what happened, describe how you close this account. You know, and I usually we have a couple people in there and, and I just simply say, look, t tell us your story. The framework behind that looks like this. Step one, you know, why, why did you contact this account? You know, what, what was the reason why you contacted? Was this just a random drop or did you target the account? Uh, you know, how did you make first contact? Was it by a phone call? Was it by a drop? Was it by a referral? Was it by email? We, we want to know you know, why and how you made first contact with this account so that we can learn from it, so that we can increase uh, the the number of accounts that we actually uh, close in, in a shorter amount of time. Step two in our war stories and, and just kind of the, uh, the framework of it is we want to know how you got uh, the first uh, appointment with the decision maker. You know, again, was this by email, phone? What did you say? Um, you know, was there anything particular? You know, maybe you used a, a, a different line than the traditional script. Maybe there was a, a seasonal uh, promotion that you were you were putting out there, a new product. We, we want to know how uh, you got that first uh, decision maker appointment. We want to know how you got the second decision maker appointment. What was the follow up? What was the process? With that, did they have to go back, talk to a team? Did you do a, a quote or, or a, a proposal? You know, how, how did you get the second DM? And then the third step was, you know, well, what was your specific follow-up process? Almost every process seems to, uh, to be a little bit different. And, and while I would like it to be more structured, I love structure, I love process, it just doesn't work that way. Every account is just a little bit different. And so what was the follow-up process uh, in this example? How many times did you touch this account? I'm shocked at how many times we, you know, we have to make a phone call, how many total emails we sent, how many total times we, we did a, a, a drive-by drop, how, how many total meetings did you have in order to close this deal? The other day we had what we would consider a, a, a base hit or a low hanging fruit account that we felt like, oh, th this was fast, this was easy, th this was you know, the type of account we wanna do all the time. By the time we got done counting all the calls, all the emails, all the texts, all the drops, all the meetings, it was 14 touches, 14 in a two week period. Uh, it just takes time. And so that's why we want to go through the war story so that we can all understand, look, we've got to be persistent. This is just not going to happen in a one-time close. You have to be persistent. Even the easy accounts that seem to be so sure, so simple, take time. And so I actually wanted to give you a, an example of, of, a, of a fun account that seemed like it was, again, just easy as pie. Uh, you know, I always like to say the, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And so this is an example of we were uh, in between appointments and we we're driving down the road. I was in a and I was about two hours away from from my home base. And so I wasn't not in an area that I was familiar with at all. But I did notice uh, an account that, you know, I had a I had a sense, you know, again, why did you contact this account? I contacted this account because it was a tire company. It was in the, you know, auto repair category. And I just felt like they would have five to 10 employees. And, and I knew that this was a franchise system. And so it was probably locally owned and operated. And there was a good chance that we could meet the owner and he might be, you know, there. Um, and so we, you know, quickly pulled off. We were driving down the road. We pulled off and and we did a drop. It was a pure drop. Uh, again, no prior contact. Now the decision maker was was you know very direct. You know, obviously we're interrupting his business day. We're intruding. We don't have an appointment, and you got to be sympathetic to that kind of a thing. Uh, we 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 are the uninvited guest. 
And so he was very direct. And what we later found out was he was a military guy. And, you know, he was a great guy, but he's just, you know, very structured, very, you know, standard operating procedures. And when we started to make small talk, build a little bit of rapport, uh, one of the things that I had said was, look, you know, I, I only need 10 minutes. And he laughed. He just totally laughed. And so there's no way that you can, you only need 10 minutes. I, I promised him, I promised him, I said, you know what? You can put the clock on me. I promise I only need 10 minutes. And he goes, well, if you're only going to take 10 minutes, then uh, then you can come back tomorrow. And so we set the appointment. Set the appointment for the next day. Promised that we only could take 10 minutes. And, and that was step one. Uh, you know, the, the, the next thing that happened was we we were there. We were in, in front of this guy. I knew I was going to be under the clock. I knew he's a military guy. And he's a man of his word and very serious. And so... As soon as I began, you know, I, I was relaxed. I, you know, I've practiced and I knew I could do this in less than 10 minutes. And, and you know, I, I followed our, our basic uh, presentation, you know, still was able to, to incorporate the five elements of a presentation, building a rapport, uh, you know, doing discovery questions, providing the recommendation in, in the sales presentation, going for the close, and then asking for next steps. All that in 10 minutes. In fact, uh, we were clocking it, and at, at the end of seven minutes, uh, you know, I, I asked for, for the business, and, and he just laughed and, and thought it was great that I was able to do it under 10 minutes and, you know, said that he was very impressed and, um and so we started talking about next steps. We started talking about uh, enrollment dates and working conditions. Uh, he was ready to go. And so th that's what really made this a great war story because it was successful and it was fast. Uh, then one of the key elements that came out of discovery was he really wanted to provide great benefits for his guys. It, he, you know, he had great uh, benefits in the military and as an owner, he really wanted to do that for his crew. He just couldn't afford that. And so I had asked him if he had put aside any money uh, in order to accomplish that. And, and he said, well, you know, it's just, you know, not in the budget to, to do the full thing. And, and I, and I talked about one of the uh, the benefits of Colonials were able to offer uh, what we call a benefits bank. And, and so in, in providing solutions, uh, because they didn't offer any kind of, of major medical in this organization, he had about $150 that he you know, was thinking about, you know, boy, if I, could, if I could do major medical in that range. And so we had started talking about a benefit bank of $25 to $50 that he could provide, which I, I felt very comfortable that he could do, afford, and it wouldn't be bad business that would fall off the books. And so he, uh, we had settled on a date and we had settled on a, on a enrollment time and, and we left, but we had not settled on the amount for the, for the benefit bank. And so our next step or our next process was uh, to get that final decision, we were able to accomplish that over the phone, and within a week, uh, our benefits counselor went back to the shop, uh, enrolled everybody. We had talked about twenty-five to fifty dollars in the benefit bank. Uh, the client settled on thirty-five dollars, and so it was a very, very successful uh, closed account that really only took. Uh, you know, two stops. We we had the drop. We had the DM, the actual DM, and then our follow up was phone calls. We had three follow up phone calls. We still had two emails, and, and so you can see how how things add up, and, and that was lightning fast. But that's an example of a war story. That's an example of how we, you know, can go through the the cell cycle. Uh, talk about the success. We can even talk about, you know, things that we can improve on. You know, many times there there were things that we could have said better. Uh, there were solutions that we could have provided that would have sped up the process or enabled us to close the deal faster. And so that's another reason why you want to incorporate war stories.